So let's get started with the Rate My Teams. I've been going for a little while. And uh, I'll be looking to see if anyone has sent me a new team. I think we're going to do it like this. Do 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 do. All right. Can we all see that? Is that all seeable? Are we good on the seeing department? Ray, my team time, boys. Okay, so if you haven't ever watched this before, I am not going to hold back. If your team is shit, I'm going to let you know. I'm never going to tell you to wildcard because it's just impossible. If you haven't sent me your team uh, that has actual like transfer money on it like I, I need to know how much you have have got so that would be better but if you haven't sent that then i'm going to assume you have nothing in the bank and all players have been bought at the prices they are now um so yeah let's do it just in time um all right so this one comes from do 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 nope this one comes from Sean Harden. Pretty happy at the moment with this squad. Not sure about whether to go for Salah instead of Sterling and have 1.9 million in the bank. All right, okay. So we've got no, um, we've got no players uh, from Liverpool in an attacking sense other than Alexander Arnold. But he's got Rico. He's got Soy. He's got Pope. He's got Alexander Arnold. He's got Lundstrom, and he's got Kelly, which is my exact defense that I picked on a wild card. So that's pretty, pretty fucking good. Um, good start. Pepe, I prefer Son, definitely. Um, Son just has amazing fixtures for the next three. Pep is still without a goal from open play or an assist from open play. I think he got one, but I'm not 100% sure how he got it. I think it was a corner. I'll need to double check, but he's, but he's definitely not doing what Son's done and what Son's done in the past. So, um, yeah. I think this is an Arsenal fan because he's also got Genduzzi. And I'm not 100% sure why. Ganduzi is a great player. He's looked great, although he's not looked that good in defense. Uh, lost his man against Aston Villa and get McGinn to score. But, um, yeah. I mean, as a, as a bench player, I would probably play Lundstrom over him. I don't know. Ganduzi's pretty shit, man. I don't like him at all. <laughs> I mean, yes, he got a penalty. And he's chipping in with shots every now and again, but it's kind of like owning. It's kind of like owning Ericsson, but without the assists, <laughs> which is pretty much just a really good passer and not much else. Um, I would prefer any number of players. McGinn has great fixtures for the next three, um, and everyone on Twitter and Reddit who have said that he's shit are wrong, and. They were proven wrong against Arsenal of all teams. It was a fucking machine. He's so good. Um, 1.9 million is good. I am 2.2 million. I and I'm 2.6 million. We've all got our problems. Please stop reminding me of my OR. <laughs> um, De Bruyne and Sterling and Aguero. I wish I had the balls to do that. But I guess it means that you don't have the money for Salah. Which is what you're kind of looking into. I think. I think. Sterling to Manny or Sterling to Salah is okay if you want that cover, but you're kind of in a in a unique position where you could go Sterling to Son or you could go actually no not Son because you've got Pep Pep to Son I think is a good choice. Um, going for someone who's kind of a bit cheaper and able to move funds. You've actually got a decent team. It's just I I, I want Gendouzi out of here, right? Is there any other fires that I'm uh, that I'm missing here? Any fires from the chat? Shaughnessy's here. Oh, you're here. This is my team. Oh, sorry, buddy. Didn't realize. Why not just go for Cantwell? Mr. Malcolm Tucker, come the fuck in or fuck the fuck off. Thank you very much for joining us, buddy. Um, yeah, Ganduzi could go down to Cantwell, or he could go up to Madison. He could go up to uh, Mount. He could go up to fucking I don't know. Those are kind of the only two that I've been looking at. Son, if you downgraded Sterling, um, Abraham with a captaincy, vice captain Aguero. I like it, nice and nice and easy. And um, Lundstrom on the bench for next week. That's fine with me. Um, but yeah, 
get Ganduzi to fuck. I think he's your fire, buddy. Um, in the long term, I'd rather have Son over Pep. If you have free transfers to go, or you're okay with taking a hit, Sterling down to um, Manny, Gunduzi up to Son. If you can afford that, I can't really see if you can afford it. But if you could, that'd be awesome. Um, if not, then you don't need to take the hit on Sterling. Just upgrade him to Mount or something. Malcolm Tucker, the special RMT guest in the future. That'd be awesome if it actually was. If it actually was Malcolm Tucker, um, that would be amazing. Um, I'd love to get uh, Peter Capaldi up on, up on on this stream. That'd be amazing. <laughs> I would love that actually, but only if he played Malcolm Tucker, right? I would need him to do all the quotes. Aye, if the PMs give me a BJ, I leave a note up. Shaughnessy, thinking going for a hit and going Son, Manny, and Mount for Pep. Sterling Gwendozy. Yeah, I think it would be a good idea. Get Peter Capaldi in the stream. Ignoring FPL Malcolm Tucker, who's right here. Feels bad. I'm not ignoring him. I'm seeing him. I love him. I'm retweeting the shit out of him when he just joined. I'll have you know. And he wildcarded because of me, which makes me feel really pressured. <laughs> um, there's quite a lot of people tweeted me saying, oh, I really, really want a wildcard. You look, your team looks good good oh no blah 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 but the team's supposed to look good for this week because i'm making it this week right your team's probably fine um only wild card if you absolutely have to or you just want a bit of a laugh and you're not too worried about your your game or if you're playing so shit that you need to change like i am uh i am drunk definitely i have 0 0.6 in the bank when you get to my team awesome liam thanks so much all right next team Speaking of drunk, I actually want more and I don't have any coke. Feels bad. Um, Henry Lynch, not sure if I'll be able to make the stream info tonight. Are you going to be uploading every tweet? Blah, blah, blah. I made two free transfers this week. AWB to Tamori and Zinchenko to Otamendi. So clearly, clearly not someone who ever owned uh, Zuma <laughs> this game week. Um... Open image in new tab. That's exactly what I want. All right, let's look at a team. On the rocks time. All right, what are the fires? Can we see that? Is it going to let me zoom in? Oh, it's pretty shit quality, Henry Lynch. Mr. Hen, our top donator. Um, Pope, fine. Otamendi's fine. Dean's fine. Van Dyke's okay. I don't think Van uh, Van Dyke was such a little cock tease, right? Because unfortunately for for Van Dyke owners, he's clearly got one goal out of however many games they played, and then and then that's it. That's it. That's all he's done. They can't really keep their clean sheets just now. They can't really do anything just now. So they've decided to just go all out attack which is awesome which is cool i don't mind it and um, but van dyke is just not a good option i don't like him at all um with your free transfers you've went to mori and otamendi from zinchenko and awb i think i like that that's fine you're hoping that Tamori's good enough and he's got the fixtures that they can keep clean sheets and they looked really good against liverpool can't forget that um they only conceded from free kick and uh corner was it so if they can if they can bounce back from that good good defensive uh thing and also Rudiger's coming up the only thing with Tamori right is that yes Zuma's kind of lost his place and Christensen I think got injured maybe or he hasn't been playing well anyway and they've just kind of shaken things up um my problem with Tamori is that there's two players that are gunning for his job and as soon as he does badly I know that Lampard came out and said that he's done great this 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 game and uh, he should be commended and that's great and everything. Thank you very much Lampard for that little tidbit. But I mean Pep said the same thing about Fodden when he played and he's not got a fucking sniff this week or this year rather. Um, so yeah, Tamori is a bit of a rotation risk. So if you're okay with having him, then, uh, then that's okay. If you're okay with the rotation risk and he's only 4.5 million um six percent zero percent chance of a clean sheet his goal was class but it ain't happening again said tom yeah i mean 
it's just like it's just a top six side for 4.5 million i don't mind it the problem is i had zuma and i'm having flashbacks like fucking nam and i can't do it i can't do it to myself again so i won't be going for him on my wild card i'd prefer soy from leicester who have actually been playing well and not conceded as much and if we look at this actually i wanted to show you guys this shit um where are we this one nope this one um on goals against chelsea are third worst 13 goals against their defense is fucking shocking watford 18 obviously after that eight but they would be they would be you know if they weren't playing city and they didn't just get eight goals that go scored against them then chelsea would be second worst potentially that's that's mental eastwood you sexy you sexy paul thank you so much for the fucking awesome subscription coming in right at the best time <laughs> if you haven't already um please follow or 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 sub because i'm streaming loads more now and uh i'm definitely 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 looking to bring in loads more guests and shit thank you so much for subbing i fucking love money <laughs> please send me more money um ben you've sent me your stand bag you've sent me your uh, your team paul you've sent your team as well um sean thank you very much everyone for sending your teams that are in just now and um, pingu you've also sent your team in buddy if you're here um i'll try and get to everyone's because i haven't been here for a while so i want to kind of i don't mind spending a bit more time pingu is you tom oh yeah shit i need to remember just make a new fucking thing. i can't i can't remember who everyone is um so many conflicting players for that team by the way no i know I'm not happy with it. I'm not happy with it. Um, thanks for sending your team in, Mr. Hen. Um, don't call me a nonce, all right? It's Pingu. It's fucking Pingu. I'm not looking at the name, the at name. Oh, my God. I've got things to do. I'm streaming, buddy. <laughs> Take that shit elsewhere. No, I'm kidding. Thanks so much. Oh, I've dropped my pencil. Oh, I'm going to have to pick it up. I'm too... I've got to pick it up. I'm going to have to pick it up. And I want more juice. <laughs> juice. Ugh. Right. Thank you for sending your team in, buddy. Um, and this one as well. I've got too many tabs up. So, yeah, this potato team. Um, Sterling and De Bruyne is fine. Alaire and Calum Wilson. You've got Calum Wilson. You might as well keep him there, right? Um, Alaire to Abraham is so easy that I just, it's a no-brainer, right? We've been looking at it all night. Uh, if we need to look at it again, we can do. Um, but, I mean, it's just, he's just outperforming. He's the third best striker in the league right now for XG. That's hard to ignore. Um, very hard to ignore. Um, I don't mind anyone else. You've got Lundstrom, you've got Din Donker. Yeah. Dean out at some point, potentially. Van Dyke, I don't like. Tamori's fine. Otamendi's good. De Bruyne is awesome. Salah captain. I don't mind that either. Callum Wilson's going to keep ticking. And a fun thing about Callum Wilson is that he's actually got the good fixtures in the next six weeks. Um, if we look really close. Aggressive streamer. I'm not aggressive. We're having a good time. We're having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> Call me a nonce. Bournemouth. West Ham home. Norwich home. Manchester United home. Iffy fixtures. But for attacking purposes, West Ham leaky, Arsenal leaky. I know we say West Ham's leaky even though they haven't um, actually conceded in three games, but they will. They will. They're so overperforming in defence, it's not even funny. Arsenal, we all know. Norwich, we all know. Watford, we all know. Those are some tasty fixtures. So after West Ham, Wilson should continue on. And then Manchester United at home. Manchester United are in a bit of a funk. And hopefully they get out of it soon. But if they don't, that's still fixed. That's still a juicy fixture. And then Newcastle to top it off in game week 12. So I think Wilson's fine there. I don't mind him at all. He is not a fire. So yeah, Alaire, Van Dijk, Dean. Kind of do something about them. But Alaire's got a decent fixture coming up. Um, and Abraham doesn't. Abraham's playing uh, Man United. Is it Man United? No. Who the fuck is he playing? No, he's actually got a good game. He was playing a bad last week. So actually, Abraham's got a decent fixture coming up. 
I'm allowed yank technically. <laughs> Jim had a toilet break and missed this. Missed the uh, uh, Aguero. That's okay, buddy. Don't worry about it. All right, next team. Thanks very much for sending your team in, Hen. I appreciate you as always. Um, Nick Can. I like your thinking on minimal defense. I'm going the same way. Sending your team in. All right. I need to close all this shit. Close, close. I'm gonna show you my lovely face while I do some of this. Bam, ba bam, bam. This is so much smoother, believe it or not, than when I used to have to pick these. Thank you so much, Jimmy, for doing this. You're a legend. All right. Um, oh, wow. So I think he's on his wild card as well. Sterling, De Bruyne, and Aguero. You've got Abraham and Puki. Cantwell on the bench. Lundstrom on the bench. Decent bench. Mane's there. Mount's there. Tamori. Ooh. Engels. That's a hard one to swallow. I don't like Engels at all. How much is Engels? Anyone know off the top of their head? Surprise more don't to be honest. It's free to us with Twitch Prime, but supports the channel. Great content. Even the results have been shit with the info. Yes, I feel like I've been saying a lot of good stuff and not following my own advice, which is kind of the content curse, isn't it? So it's good to it's good to be wildcarding, trying to get back on track and take all my advice in. Angles is 4.6. 4.5, 4.6. Did you know you can sub for free with Twitch Prime? Pingu? <laughs> 4.5. See for 4.5. If you're really, really, really wanting to go cheap, cheap, cheap at the back, you might as go for Rico, right? Because Rico's 4.1 million. He's actually getting assists and doing well. And like I said before, um, with Lundstrom, and Rico, they really, really do um, rotate well. So let's refresh this just to double check with the fixtures involved. Um, and we'll look at the next next six, that's fine. So Bournemouth with Rico and and uh, Sheffield United with Lundstrom, right? So at the bottom half of, of our little fixture uh, analysis here, you've got Lundstrom, right? Liverpool at home, Arsenal at home, Tottenham away, in the next six you've got West Ham but look West Ham home Watford away Norwich home Watford or West Ham away whatever one you'd rather then Burnley at home then Newcastle away that's pretty fucking decent isn't it that's not bad so Rico 4.1 Sheffield United's Lundstrom that everyone has 4.3 just now and save yourself a bit of cash over um, who did we have over Engels, who, I mean, I've been impressed with their defense, but they just haven't really done much with it. I think they've got two clean sheets. Um, Rico will be out soon when Lloyd Kelly is back. Yeah, potentially. We'll see. We'll see. He's been playing well. Um, if you want Villa defense, you can get Gilbert. Yeah, Gilbert's an option as well. Um, but that's fine. I think this team's banging. I don't think I would change it. The only thing I would do differently is Rico. But apart from that, I like it. Ming's pass between each other, so if they keep a cleanie, they could be in the baps. It's left field, but I see it. Yeah, I mean, if it's nil-nil, but I think Aston Villa are such an attacking squad. We've seen it against Arsenal. We've seen it against Everton. Um, they didn't have that great defence last season. I don't know why it would improve now. I'm not 100% sure. Let's let's look at their, their clean sheets. Yes, exactly. Bam. Where are they? Aston Villa. Burnley, Norwich, Brighton. Best three fixtures of any team in the league. And then Man City, Liverpool, Wolves. So if you want to go him for the next three and then kind of swap them out, I'm down with that, Nick. Nick, I am down with that. Thank you so much for sending your team in, buddy. I appreciate it. All right, next, Liam. Liam. You've been freaking out, I hear. You've been freaking the fuck out. I always appreciate you sending me messages, but I never like to see you cry, buddy. Norwich is not a good fixture away. I agree. It's not the best. But it's better than... That three fixture run is better than a lot of them. Alright, never have I ever seen Liam this upset. A very big regular on the stream. I hope you're here, buddy. 
I know your bedtime's round about now because you got to work early. Tom says wild card. Liam, I'm leaning towards wild carding for you as well, buddy. It's you've you're in pretty much the same place as me, right? You've got a bad OR. You've been picking players really well. They just haven't been, you know, they haven't been doing good. You've got two players coming up against Man City. Sterling's and Chenko's an issue. You've got the worst of the three defenders for Liverpool. You're missing out on that Trent Alexander Arnold goodness. Um, Lanzini's a bit injured. Barnes hasn't been playing that well. Your bench is a mess. Pope's your only good player. <laughs> Pope, Buki, and Sterling, and Salah. You got four good ones. I mean, I think these guys would keep... If I wasn't going to wildcard, right, I would probably get rid of Zinchenko for Otamendi and kind of leave it for a week and then maybe get rid of Dean. It's so difficult. It's so difficult. Um, Lanzini's an issue, right? But he might be back, so we don't know. It's really difficult to to, to suggest to someone to wildcard. But, yeah. Get rid of that heavy defense. Yeah, so we're, we're still four strong at the back. That's a good point, right? That's, what, 7 million, 6.5, 5.5. 14, 20, 25 million ish, 25 million. That could be put down to 4, 9, 18 million. You've got 7 million to spend up front. That would get you Barnes to Obama Yang, Richarlison to Son, for example, if you just swapped all those guys out. I think wildcard Liam is 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 a good is a good starting point, but I I'm very I said at the start of this that I don't want to tell anyone to wildcard, and I'm honest, honest to God, I don't like doing it. But you're in the same boat as me, buddy. You've been doing everything well, and it just has fallen to shit. Um, and your overall rank's not where you want it. You're sitting on some trains that were good a couple weeks ago, but yeah, you're, like like Tom said, you're very much out of the uh, out of the loop right now. Huh? Out of the loop. Malcolm Tucker, you still here? I hope you appreciate that. I am on fire. If you're going to wildcard, then the team that I would build is the same as mine. So I'll keep you posted. I'll send you a few teams that I like and you can pick from that and you can see what you like and what you don't like. Um, if I wasn't wildcarding and this was my team, I would probably take a hit and get Zinchenko out and see what happens with Lanzini and it's an easy swap to mount for me from Lanzini. So Lanzini to mount, Zinchenko to Otamendi. Wow, almost everyone is away here. Did you guys notice that? Away, 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 away. <laughs> the only players you have at home <laughs> are against man fucking city, Liam. <laughs> oh, it's a disaster. It's the worst week ever coming up. Oh, that's so difficult. That's so difficult. In the loop references are allowed. Yes. Aye, the bit with it, see the general in, in the loop when he's, so this is, I know we're getting sidetracked, right? But in the loop is one of my favorite movies, other than, of course, the best comedy of all time. We'll get to that later on in the XXX Late Show with Def BL Dave. But um, <laughs> the bit in, in the loop when the general's sitting on the desk and they had previously talked about how disgusting it is that there's a glass window, so there's no privacy. And then the general's just sitting there on the desk, just staring at the, the girl, <laughs> just staring at her and just go, just go, oh, Jenny looks nice today <laughs> or something. <laughs> it is so fucking funny. It's just so well put together. Just so good. Um, Liam, fuck me, man. Your your uh, your team's looking trash, and I don't know how to fix it. Um, Otamendi and Mount for Lanzini and Zinchenko for a hit. If you want to kind of stay the course and see how it goes. <sighs> Sums my team up, Dave. I've made a wild card draft. Dave will send you tomorrow. Yeah, I would love that shit, man. Send that send that my way, buddy. Um. I don't know what the price change is just now. Is there anyone that you're missing out on? Lundstrom potentially going up to 4.4. Um, Zinchenko's going down tonight. That might be an Otamendi swap. Or if you want to swap to Lundstrom right away. And kind of get money out of the defense. Because that would be, you know, a million or so. You might be able to upgrade 
a few more players. There's not many players going up tonight, so I think you're okay. Son, I'm probably going to bring Son in tonight. Um, just in case he rises and I want him. Um, Abraham's looking at another price rise, which is mental. Um, but yeah, okay. Cheers. I'm going to move on, Liam. I'm so sorry for your loss. That is your team. <laughs> but we'll, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. I'm sure it'll be okay. Um, Malcolm Tucker. Oh, no. Not yet. Malcolm, you're next. It's raw. It's raw. You've sent two teams in, you cheeky bastard. Should I make those transfers now? Ryan Zinchenko out. Keep in mind, I'm probably going to wildcard next week with this team's second pick. Okay, so we've got a wildcard team to look at. Open image. Bam. Foolproof strategy. Liam definitely wildcard and then just blame Dave. Oh, yeah, you know, you could do that. You could definitely do that. I haven't. I think you said been trying to tune in, mate. Been tinkering all day and landed on this and like it a lot. We'll sleep on it a few days now. I think, I think because you sent your team on one of my tweets, it's been selected by my amazing mod. Uptime, the stream is alive for one hour, 39 minutes. I think we can go for a little bit more. Cheers for showing us. Um, because I haven't streamed in a while, so I want to just keep going. I'm going to keep going. We're doing okay, right? 14 viewers. We'll kind of die down soon. You've sent it in whether you like it or not, Sonny Jim. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking mine now. Right, this team. Bam. It's Ross says, uh, should I make those transfers now? Ryan and Zinchenko out. So, Pope and Tamori, like we've talked about for a while, are decent picks. You've also got that Rico Lundstrom thing. So we're going well in there. And you've got then 1 million in the bank to upgrade Sabios or whatever, um, which is decent. My issue with the Zinchenko out is that you're not really getting any bang for your buck for that trade. Um, right now, you're, you're kind of sitting with a million. You're going to have to do that next week. I just don't like Sabios at all. He's just so fucking shite. Um, but you could probably bench him, right? So if you played Rico... Tamori, Dean, Alexander Arnold, Sterling, De Bruyne, Salah, and then Abraham Pookie Barnes. Sabios could be on your first bench. But you kind of want to play him, right? Because you brought him in. Um I do like the hit. I do like the hit. Ryan has a horrible fixture, I'm sure. I'm sure he's got a horrible fixture. Uh Brighton playing Chelsea away. Yeah, it's not it's not the best. Oh, I should close that. Um so for me, I think it's time to say goodbye to Ryan. So I think Pope is a good pick. Yes. Next up, we've got the Zinchenko going away. Zinchenko was benched because he needed rested. I don't know if he's going to get 45 minutes or whatever. Um, it'd be weird not to start him uh, after a rest. But we'll see. We need to wait to the Carabao Cup to see if Mendy plays. If he plays to build his fitness, then I would say Zinchenko's going to start. But I, I would wait on that hit until we see what happens with the uh, the old the old cup game. <laughs> You've clipped me. All right. Let me look at the rest of the team. I think I don't like Barnes, but you've got Abraham, so that's fine. I like Barnes. He's got good fixtures, but I don't like him as a, like a punt if you were on a wild card i wouldn't have him but right now he's fine he's fine sitting there he's probably watched wood score two goals and he's been like fuck's sake i need to do something and he did he did okay he was unlucky he nearly scored um so i think stay the course with him as well so yeah raw in terms of those fixtures ryan to pope's absolutely fine i would make that my priority and then we'll wait to see what happens um, and we'll discuss Tamori a little bit later on Thursday. This team is only this week, probably. If it's just this week, then why not not get Pope and instead go for... Um, who's got the best fixture for one week uh, in, in goals? Let's see. Crystal Palace against Norwich. I don't know if I would risk that. Watford, Wolves, Chelsea, Leicester. You could get Leicester defense. We got that. You've got. Would you have enough? Tamori and yeah, you would have enough. 
If it's just for one week, we're doing one week punts, you could get Leicester's uh, keeper in. Um, I think they're probably going to do well against Newcastle. But yeah, thanks very much for sending your team in, buddy. Um, I know you sent in your wildcard team. I'm going to have a quick peek at it just now, but I can't really go through it too much. 4.4. Son, Cantwell, Firmino, Aubameyang. Keeping Sterling. I like it. I like the Firmino pick. Tamori Kelly. Yeah, decent, 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 decent. But we'll look at that when we get to it. I'm sure you'll send my team, your team in, buddy. Malcolm Tucker. Thanks for sending your teams in. Mr. Malcolm. Let me have a look at your team. The fucker. No, actually, you're not the fucker. Of course you'd like Firmino. Well, who doesn't? What's the point in keeping somewhat meh team for one week when you could wildcard now? Um, Whoa, zoom out. I'm zooming out. I'm zooming out. I'm zooming out. Actually, I think I'm going to have to lose my lose my face. Um, the reason why you don't want a wildcard so soon is just in case you don't need to, right? You can ride out it for one more week. And Aubameyang, for example, has got a shit fixture this week. Um, City haven't got the best fixture. There's a few things that you still want to look at, like Madison's injury, uh, Mane's injury, etc., etc. The more you wait for your wild card, the long, the more information you have. So if you absolutely, excuse me, if you absolutely don't need to wild card this week, then I wouldn't. If you're gonna do it next week, um, and you planned on doing it next week with fixture swings, etc., etc., then then decent. All right, Malcolm sent your team in. Otamendi and Alexander Arnold, your only big back guys i like it rico again and you've got lundstrom on the bench which is fine for swapping we've already spoke about that and um, cantwell on the bench as well you've got son pookie abraham Firmino. i oh, fucking love your top three um no salah no manny but it's covered with Firmino. decent and although we although we don't like cover Firmino's not exactly cover he's just another good option um madison is a great pick if you've not gone for any other Leicester players I think if you have money if you can do um I would maybe get soy instead of Kelly and then and then that would be your bench set and you wouldn't have to do anything else to the team it'd be really difficult though I mean you could go Madison to Mount you'd have enough money but if you're if you're if you're balls to the wall right now and you don't have any money in the bank then I think this is okay I like it. I like it a lot. Um, are you not worried about the whole Sterling uh, uh, Aguero thing? Liam, you're off to bed now. Thanks for convincing me to wildcard. Oh no, <laughs> I didn't convince you to wildcard. I just said that it was an option and that I would do it if I were you. <laughs> please don't, please don't uh, uh, blame me if it all goes wrong because it's going wrong for me too. And we'll probably have a very similar team anyway. Uh, oh God, the guilt, the guilt. No cash left, sadly. That's okay, buddy. No cash. No problem. Um, Madison to Mount. Rico to Soy. Or Otamendi out. Um, get Soy in. You've got money to spare. I can see the appeal for a City defender. Definitely. And Otamendi is going to rise. So... Dave's going to get some angry tweets. Yeah, and I'll retweet them all with a laughing face anyway. Because I don't give a fuck, clearly. Have you seen my team? you seen it. Does this does this look like a team that, does, that cares anymore? <laughs> oh. Anyway. Um, yeah, I think this is a decent wildcard team. For me personally. Uh, Liam, go to bed. <laughs> you won't blame me, you promise. Cheers, buddy. I appreciate that. Appreciate you jumping in. Making sure that I was, wasn't feeling too bad about it. Um, whose team is this? Did you just send your own team, Jim? Is that what you've sent? Is that your team? We'll do your team. You're a great mod. I love you to bits. Um, would I change anything else? Aguero was in early drafts, but it looked boring. Trying for Mino and Son instead. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> you may have sent yours in, Jim. I forgive you. Totally, we can totally look at your team, even though you're probably still flying. Um, so, yeah, I prefer Sterling. 
if you don't want Aguero, then not Sterling at all, of course. But I do prefer Aguero over Puki. But I, I can see how it's scary to not have Puki. Um, so yeah, other than that, maybe Soyin. Uh, if 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 you can afford it, you somehow slice other players up. But I I think you're gold. I think you're golden, buddy. Good good team. Good team. Right, Jimmy, let's do your team. God damn it. Let's do it. This is the mods team, everyone. I want you guys to be harsh. Be as harsh as you can. What do we think? Give me the good. Oh my god, double double defense. Give me the bad. Who was the mid who was the midfielder who you had in the Aguero team? That's a good point. Um, what do we think? We've got a knee. Obvious gaming. You've been in here for a while, I think, but I just haven't said hello. Hello. I can't read your name. Look how close I have to go to read your fucking name because it's in dark writing. And I'm not my glasses on because I look, it glares in the stream. It glares when I look up. Let's see. So I gotta go quite close. Um... Right, fires. Heaton's good. Alexander Arnold's good. Aurier's a good shout. You've got your you're heavy at the back, aren't you? You're quite heavy at the back. Alder World's an obvious punt. Um, everyone else is great. You're pretty much in the same team that I am wild carding into. You've also got Pope on the bench. Cantwell, Lundstrom. Damn. So Alder World to Soy. You've got money in the bank to upgrade someone if you want to. Um, it means you could go three at the back, upgrade Cantwell to someone awesome as well. Um, Cantwell's already pretty awesome. Um, it means you could upgrade your keeper if you want to when Allison gets back. Say nay when Spurs keeps a cleanie. I mean, yeah, they might keep a clean sheet. Against Southampton, they definitely would. I would save just now, but, but he's your only fire. I hate the fact that your team is good and we can't make fun of you. <laughs> It's really annoying, but you're doing amazing, man. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> um, so yeah, and I also love the Pope Heaton thing. I, I never like it for myself, but when I see it in other people and they've spent the money on it, I'm like, yeah, that just it's just working. And if we look at the the fixtures for Burnley and uh, Burnley and Aston Villa, let's see how they react to each other. Aston Villa, where are you, you motherfucker? Bam, Aston Villa, and Burnley. So, game week 10 is a bit of an issue. You're going to be playing Aston Villa. Uh, you're going to be playing Heaton for a while, and then you're going to be playing Burnley after that for a while, I'm assuming. Let's see how far the rabbit hole goes. 10 game weeks. Yep. And then you're going to switch to Heaton game week 13 and then jump into Burnley again Crystal Palace at home and then you're kind of fucked from there but assuming you probably change some one of them out so yeah I like the keepers I like the keepers a lot buddy good team decent team all right I know a lot of people sent their team in um Paul how could we not do you buddy new subscriber have wild carded so may tweak still have 0 0.8 in the bank that's okay that's okay we love money in the bank right i think this is going to be the second last one um we can do we can do you tom next we can do two, tom and then that'll be us i think because we've been going for quite a while and we're hitting the two hour mark thank you everyone else who sent the teams in if i haven't got to you let me know and i will uh i will do your uh i'll do it on twitter um so this is the wildcard team team shown was much sexier i agree all right mr pingu we'll be doing yours next but first off yeah yeah paul okay so mr paul wild card available wild card in right now i think have wild carded so my tweak still have 0.8 in the bank 
I don't know if you needed to wildcard. Unless this is your... your no, because it's not active, right? Oh man, your team is not that bad. Dave, can you DM mine if not no time tonight? Ta. Oh yeah, I can. Stanners. You can't see. You're right. Whoa, that didn't work. Yeah, buddy, I can definitely do that. Stanners, actually, have you sent me your team? Is it a DM that you sent it? I can't see it. No. Where have I, where did you send it? Oh, Ben, you have sent your team. No, I found it, I found it. This is the new team, Pete. All right. I'm calling you Pete, it's Paul, but it's because it's, you're Eastwood. <laughs> See, that's how bad I am with names. All right, so Pope, Button, fine, fine. Soy, fine, Alexander Arnold, great. Lundstrom, great. All right, good. Kelly's fine, Son, great. Mount, great. De Bruyne, great. Harry Wilson, I'm assuming you're doing what I'm doing with Harry Wilson and just holding him there for the value, and then you're gonna jump away if he, if he doesn't come to fruition, because I hate him. Um, as an asset, I think. I would just much rather have the money elsewhere. Abraham, Firmino, and Aguero. So good. You changed over nine players. Do you want to send me your, do you want to send me your thingy team? Eastwood or Clint Upton to you. <laughs> I like Eastwood. I like Clint. I could call you Mr. Golf if it, if you prefer. But yeah, no, Har Harry Wilson. Harry Wilson is a decent asset for people who don't pay attention too much and they just want to jump on whoever scored recently. I mean, Bournemouth have decent fixtures. We've already looked at their fixtures, but the problem with Harry Wilson is that he is playing against Fraser for that spot right and if he does come in and plays on the other side or whatever then he's playing on his weaker foot and then you're hoping for for uh you know those those tasty free kicks that he's so good at uh crazily good at um we're probably probably gonna see him playing a bit more if he keeps this up but um I'm not 100% sure on what what I would do if I had him in just now I'd probably keep him but as you're on your wild card it's super easy to take him out um just to let you know, Hayden is playing correct, but you could get, if you need it, 0.1 million out of him. Um, that's there as an option. Um, but yeah, no, team's banging. Team's banging. Notice no Solara Mane, um, and he went for Firmino instead. Um, no Aubameyang. Now, he is super expensive, and I'm probably, probably going to downgrade him if he doesn't work out, but I feel like he's just going to so just bang when Bellerin gets back and, and Tierney starts playing well as well. Um, but, um, nah, Daniel James, he, he, ah, just, there's something wrong with, with, uh, Man United. It's probably Pogba, right? Um, but, I think the problem with, I think the problem with, uh, James is that he's just inconsistent and there's so many better, there's so many better players just now oh you've sent your you've sent your old team oh i see it i see it i see it i see it this is the old team you got 34 points last week fucking hell jimenez martial <laughs> alaire oh yeah yeah james is injured yeah he probably is injured too um I know he's, I know he's at least yellow flagged. Oh man. Yeah, no, wild card, wild card active. I like it. I like it. All right, let me know how that develops. We're gonna, we can compare our wild cards on Thursday. Okay, man. Thank you so much for sending your teams in though. And sticking about and your sub. Fucking big sexy man. So you are big Clint Eastwood motherfucker. Thank you so much, buddy. Um, all right, last one. I think, I think so too, Mr. Malcolm. Um, Pingu, Mr. Tom, and Stanners, Ben, I'll send you, I'll, I'll do your team, I'll do DM, don't you worry, thank you so much for sending your team in, 
Um, and I've got to reply to your shit. You send, you send me loads of message and I just I read them I'm really interested and then I want to respond and I put the phone down and I don't and I'm such an asshole for that so <laughs> I'm so sorry buddy I'm gonna respond to everything and I'll, I'll I'll do I rate my team for you as well this is the last one guys um, I'll stick to golf if you want your team um, rated next time um, just send it in quickly just send it in first and then um my good man jim jim jimmy jim jim will get to it um right let's have a look at this one and then we'll see in a night um pope rico fine alexander arnold otamendi lundstrom aurier all decent all decent mr pingu salah sterling de bruyne james mount obvious gaming Here's to being a legend. Love the stream. Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate that. Mm, thank you very much. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm having a fucking shot because I'm sitting here. I'm thirsty. Mm, rum. Oblivious, not obvious. Is it obvious? Oblivious? See, I can't read it because it's dark blue. Oblivious ga gaming. I can't read. I need to put my fucking glasses on. Uh, nope. Still can't. Oh no, I can read it now. Oblivious Gaming. Okay, cool. It's all blurry. Thank you very much for the bits and the subs and everything, guys. Mm. Oh. Rum is so much easier to down than fucking. than bourbon. Oh. Thank you very much. That was to you guys. Appreciate that. Right, let's do this team. I'm obviously oblivious. Exactly. Alright, Mr. Pingu. Salah, Sterling, De Bruyne, James, Mount. That's why you were asking about James. Because you've got him in. You sneaky fucker. You've got him in your team. <laughs> oh, I knew it. Knew something was up. Right. James for Cantwell. Or someone. And keep the money. It wasn't you talking about James. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was oblivious. See, there you go. All right. I take it back. See, no, I can't read. I can't read and we're getting on a bit and it's nearly 11 o'clock. I'm a bit tired. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You're both blue, okay? <laughs> All right. I think it's because there's a red background too. I should just leave the chat up on my other screen. Oh, that's so much easier to read. What the fuck? I'm going to change night mode because I can't read anything on that. Anyway. Racist. I am using dark mode. That's a problem. Look. How do I show what, you, what I'm looking at? Right. If I do this, and you guys see this, right? Look at look at how dark that is. It's so difficult. It's so difficult. Go drunk, you're home. I am home. You, dr I'm a little bit drunk. Um. Right, the team, the team, the team, the team. I don't like James because he is inconsistent. As are the team that he's playing with. So that's an issue. If I was going to use the money in the bank. I would probably try and downgrade somewhere a little bit, just a teensy, teensy, teensy bit, so that I can upgrade him to um, Madison because Madison's been playing amazing. If you don't want to do that and you want to keep um, James in, then I don't see any problem with your team. Any, no, no problems whatsoever. Don't dislike anyone. You could go James down to Cantwell and upgrade, upgrade Greenwood to Barnes if you wanted to. And go for the, the old three attackers. Um, McGinn's also a shout. I prefer him as well. And like we've said before, um, for those next three fixtures. Um, yes, yes, I know you need to refresh. For the next three fixtures, um, Aston Villa have the best. They're right there at the top. Burnley home, Norwich away, which is difficult. But, you know, on paper at least. And then Brighton home again. So two really decent, juicy home fixtures. And then Norwich. So you could go Wesley even. Um, if you wanted to get rid. Oh, that's not your team. That's not your team. That's not your team. That's your team. Um, you could go Wesley if you wanted to. But yeah, no, I think I'd prefer him again. Um, and if you downgrade there, then you can upgrade elsewhere, right? Uh, in a later time. But for right now, you have zero free transfers. And you actually wrote something too. I'm, su I'm assuming... I think you said that. You wrote something. So I need to check that too. Do 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 Check what you wrote on your thing. Do 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 do. 
I've been a naughty boy and did my transfers early because I'm trigger happy. Dean to Aurier, Barnes to Abraham. Oh, you had Barnes already. Oh, you went to Abraham. That's fine. Captaining either a Ke Kevin De Bruyne or Abraham, I think. Yeah. I think you're golden with those captaincy options. I like the transfers. If Barnes got you Abraham, then that's absolutely fine. Um, and you've taken a hit potentially. If you haven't taken a hit, then that's awesome. If you have, then that's okay. Just definitely, um, definitely don't do... Um, you had two free transfers, awesome. So I think in the long run, right now, just leave it as is. And then later on, we can see what James is getting on uh, in game week uh, seven, although he is playing Arsenal, so he's probably gonna score. <laughs> um, and if not, we he is, your, uh, he is your 11th man. So it's not a huge, he's kind of like having Ceballos, right? You hope for the best, he's not that expensive. If you downgrade other places, you could probably make him amazing. Um, like, if you don't want Otamendi anymore or whatever, right? Um, and you want someone else and you want to kind of downgrade and move up, you could probably get Son at a push. Or at the very least, Madison, right? Um, so, yeah. Decent team, though. It's pretty close to what I'm wildcarding to, so well done, buddy. Appreciate it. All right. That's the stream. That's the stream. Thank you so much for coming back. I've been away for a week. Some personal shit, some stuff happening. Couldn't deal with FPL. It was doing my tits in, but we're wildcarding. And I'll see you guys all on Thursday. Thank you so much for coming. We had 50 bits from Oblivious Gaming. We had two subscriptions, I think, three subscriptions. And a resub. Um, and loads of followers as well. Thank you so much, everyone, for fucking being here. It's been so awesome. I love streaming. It's so much fun. It's so much easier than articles. I might actually try and limit the articles that I'm doing. Because I just don't, can't find the time to get them done. It takes me all day to make sure that my spelling's good. I can't read. You see me not being able to read. <laughs> so, uh, so writing articles is difficult. Um, though it makes me sound a bit more articulate when I do write things down. So we'll see how that goes. Um, thank you very much, everyone, for joining in. Um, if you can't wait, if you absolutely can't wait till Thursday to hear me talk more, I am on Fantasy Bet again with the FPL General, um, Holly from FF Community, and uh, Mr. Tug and Loftus Cheek, James himself. So that comes out on Wednesday at 2 p.m. As usual, um, check that out if you haven't listened to before. It's just a chat and shit. I'm pretty sure I shouted my mum out. In this episode which was weird uh, <laughs> so that's fun um, so yeah we talked about captaincy options and shit um, so yeah thank you guys again and I will see you next time I appreciate it and we might go to extra time I'm gonna have another drink we'll see <laughs> cheers guys bye 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 <laughs>